Morty. And he loves it when a plan comes together. That's a great cut from Ronnie O'Sullivan. That's all he needed. Had to hit that absolutely perfectly, which he did. I don't think he's going directly towards the pocket here. Straight in. <coughs> Very nice. Talking about that, Phil, about the most famous venue in snooker, but did you see the programme at the Marigold Hotel with Dennis Taylor? And he went into it, he was in India, weren't they? He went to the actual, where it all started, remember? In the barracks there, the army barracks up in the hills, and played on the actual table where the game was invented. Incredible. I mean, what a privilege that is. At least three cushions, you would think. Yeah. He might be able to achieve it off two, off the top cushion, just below the middle pocket. If he goes all the way around his three cushions, he's got to go around the back of the green then, which he's going, there's one, two, there's the third cushion. I might even hit, oh, what an escape that is. That was a great hit. If that red had just come maybe a foot away from the bolt cushion, it's so much more difficult. Physically and, of course, mentally these days. Said ahead of this tournament that he enjoys it more than ever now because whereas in the past, and he's played one there, hasn't he? He was up and down now. He's much more on an even keel and can enjoy it more as a result. Is he going to try something a bit special? He is. He is. Look at the action on that cue ball. What a positional shot that is, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a shot that Four. is. To get the work on that with the side around the angles. What a shot. Sullivan grits his teeth. He's so close to the winning line, but not quite there although snookers of course are now required and he is there now that will seal the deal for sure if there was any lingering doubt and finishing with a flourish can he release oh my goodness well suddenly we're into exhibition mode what a match this has been 